And we can ride the boogie Share that beat of love I wanna ride Let's see what's in the Amazon box, which I think I know what it is, but let's see. Okay. So, let me break it down for you guys. This is the pure Epsom salt. Magnesium Sofe UPM graded, USP graded. Okay, so I've been following um this lady on TikTok <laughs> slash Instagram. Her name is Me Mom. Very educated, very very educated. Like I've been watching her like crazy. Also, uh, ordered her uh blueprint book, um, and it's been very helpful. So, I also um, noticed that my friend Ashley, who also is a YouTube uh, YouTube content creator, um, if you ain't following her, go follow her, uh, Peculiar Royalty TV. Um, she's a good friend of mine. Um, she also does this as well, um, as well as others that I've been following, um, the Detox Bath. So, I felt like... I need to do the detox bath with Kyrie. Um, so I ordered three things off of Amazon. I ordered this pure Epsom salt as well as the um, the clay mask. And what else? Um, the baking soda. So I will be doing that tonight. Unfortunately, we didn't get to do it. So I'm going to start next week on a fresh week. On him. Um, I was told to do it two times out of the week. Um, so I will be doing that tonight for him. Hopefully that will increase his, be uh, decrease his behavior and, um, get him to start, you know, talking a little bit more. He is talking a little bit, but not as much. I also have been giving him, which you want some chips? He's been pointing a lot too, so that's a good thing as well. But um, we want him to talk verbal, that that verbal. But um, hold on, give me one second. I give him some chips. Y'all not keep all week. I'm telling you, he's a chip fanatic. I feel like his nickname should be Chippy. Look at, look at, get it, man, get it, get it, get it, get it man, get it. But, um, let's give us a bag. But, yeah, I've been also, she said this is also a good thing to give him as well. This, uh, Lion May powder. This is good, but I want to do the detox. I've been giving it to him, though, so that's what I'm saying. He's been talking a lot, a little bit, well, trying to say some words. But, doing the, um, yeah, this is... Um, doing the detox first should have been the main thing I should have did. Then gave him some of that, um, powder stuff. So, I did it ass backwards, but it's okay. We're going to switch it up. We're going to do the detox tonight. And then continue on with the lion moss powder. So, yeah. So, pray for me, you guys. I'm about to go wash these dishes. So, you're about to come with me. And then we're going to figure out what we're cooking tonight. It might be... Smash burgers tonight with bacon? I'm not sure. I don't know. I'll wait till be baby dad get off. Uh, let me not say baby dad. I'll wait till bae get off of work and then we'll figure it out. I'll be back.
the love song. It's like, nah, y'all know, if y'all know that John Legend song, y'all know. But nah, seriously, good morning. Happy hump, 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 hump day. We are almost at the finish line, y'all. Almost at the finish line. But happy hump day. August the 21st. Oh, I'm so happy it's a half a day for me. No, 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 no. We complain about, oh, I said we complain. We want to be grown so bad. We want to be grown. Some of us want to be grown so bad. Now we live in a grown life. It's just like, ugh. I want to go back to being a teenager. I want to go back to being a kid. <laughs> but, yeah. So, anyway. I love working. Don't, don't get me wrong. I don't want y'all to think that I don't like my job. I love my job. I just, sometimes I just be wanting to just stay in bed. That's all. I just want to stay in bed. I do. That's it. That's what I'm saying. That's the laziness in me. And I never was lazy. I'm trying to tell y'all I was never lazy. Never lazy. I was always doing something. Not active, but I was, I mean, not, uh. Like in the activity or anything, but I was always doing something around the house, trying to find myself, trying to find something to keep myself occupied. That's what I was doing. But yeah, I can truly say fall has entered the building. Fall don't even start until September. We're in August, but the trees are really like starting to turn. And it's 54 degrees outside. Today's supposed to be 70. That's fall weather. That ain't summer. That's fall. But hey, you like it? I love it. <laughs> I love it. I'm just trying to figure out how we starting fall so soon though. This, this just that's God's word. That's God's word. But how is everybody? Well, I can't say how is everybody doing because it's mad early. It's six eighteen. You know, I'm an early bird. But I'm going to say it anyway because y'all probably know just watching this video. But how are you doing? If you're doing okay, jot that down in the comments. I want to talk to you guys. I'm going to interact with you guys. You know what I mean? Some of y'all, I love when y'all interact with me. You know what I mean? Yep. Yep. Got y'all little nephew in the back. I'm about to drop him off. Yeah. Tell him. Say, say talk to my mommy. Talk to my mommy. Yep. E. E. A. B. C. D. But yeah. Um. So I had to start my car. Thank God for automatic starter, bro. Because I'm trying to tell you the windows be like fog. But yeah, I had to start my car. Warm it up. I got the heat on because I am cold. If you anemic, you will know. Like, I, I stay cold. Like, and then my job be having the air on full black. I ain't gonna even say nothing. The job be having the air on full blast. And I be thinking to myself, why do y'all have this air on? And people be like, the air kills germs. No, the, yeah, the air kills germs. But the air also makes people sick if their people's immune system is not up to par. Because, honey, people be sneezing and coughing in there. And I'm like, I wonder why. But, yeah, so, honey, I got the jean jacket on. Got jeans on. You got to wear winter clothes when you in my job. Because, honey, they be trying to freeze you out. You feel like the Titanic. And I don't even know how the Titanic feel. Great. But... I hope everybody has a blessed day. Let me give y'all some motivational jewels, gems, jewels, whatever you guys call it. I totally forgot what we used, to, what we called it. I think it's jewels. Anyway, um, let me let me pour my mind and give you guys something, 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 something. Boom. Here we go. 
do you love yourself? If the answer is yes, drop them hearts. First things first, you always supposed to love yourself before you can love anybody else. If you don't love yourself, that means you need to stop what you're doing, find time to find yourself. And what I mean, what I mean about find yourself, self-care, self-confidence, self-esteem, self-everything. When you hear, when you see, hear, see and hear those words, that means you have to find all those things within yourself. Okay? I'm still learning. That's why I got those books that I got yesterday. Because I really need to start loving myself a little bit more. I beat myself up more than I even know. I'm, I'm hard on myself. And we all are hard on ourselves. Don't say, let's not sit here and, and try to fake the funk. This is one thing that I don't like about some people when they get on this camera. Stop faking the funk for these people. Like I said, be authentic. When you be authentic, that attracts real and genuine people. They love that. They want to see that. They don't want to see somebody getting on here being fake. Trying to be something that you're not. Trying to keep up with the Joneses. No, 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 no. Stop. Be yourself at all times. Be yourself. And that's why I attract the people that I attract because I I can only be myself. Sometimes I, 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 I fumble over my words. Sometimes I say things like when I write in a paragraph, I say things that doesn't even make sense and then sometimes I have to go back and rewrite it or I might have to use chat GTP to help me out because I am not good at writing and I can admit that I'm not I'm not good at writing <laughs> you silly baby so yeah I'm not good at grammar I'm not I'm not at all but one thing about me as I'm getting older, I'm willing to learn. I'm willing to fix my mistakes. There are some friendships that I lost along the way. To this point, I, I mean, to this day, I don't know how I lost them. Maybe I said something out of the ordinary. Maybe I tend to be outspoken a little bit too, too much, too much. And maybe I say the things that I'm not supposed to say and I'm supposed to hold it in, but if I can't be who I am, then why are we friends? If I can't tell you how I feel or see things that's out of the ordinary and I can't speak on it with you, then why are we friends? I want people to tell me when I'm in the wrong, if I said something wrong, I don't want nobody sugarcoating anything around me. That's as simple as that. And like I said, I know some some other people that I lost is a little bit sensitive. And, and I apologize. I'm on this platform right now. And I even apologize to them face to face. Well, certain people I apologize to them. But I'm apologizing again. This is a part of me that's really growing up because I never truly apologize to anybody. If I feel like I didn't do anything wrong. But, like I said, I apologize if I said anything out of the ordinary to anybody on this platform. That's not my intentions. I just want to be real. I just want to see, I just want to say what I feel and not be bashed for what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying? You shouldn't have to feel bad for, you shouldn't have people beating you up for being authentic it's kind of sad because this world is just y'all got the republicans they can say whatever the hell they want to say you got trump he can say the hell he want to say and he got all them uh, them brainwashed people loving him if he can do that why can't i be me on this platform why can't i be me why can't i be a friend 
But anywho, um, like I said, the one friendship I passed up, thank God, um, because I really truly respect this friendship. But any other the friendships, it is what it is. Some people didn't give me a chance to um, apologize. They just wrote me off. It's cool. Um, it, it hurts because you can't tell your side. You can't. You can't. You can't really explain to the person. Hey, that's not what I meant. This is what you know. What I mean, this, this was my intentions. When people write you off like that, it, it, to be honest with you, it, it just lets me know that you really wasn't trying to be my friend. And that's okay because, first of all, we come in this world alone. We come in this world alone. We didn't come in here with a twin. Unless you came in here with a twin, I didn't come in here with no twin. I came in here solo, dolo, eight pounds, twelve ounces. October 21st, that's when I came in here, dolo, by myself. I ain't coming to Wadi. But if I if I meet friends along the way that connect with me, I want to keep that connection. I want to keep that friendship because obviously we made a connection somewhere along, along, along the lines. We made a connection, and I want to keep that connection. But I don't want to sugarcoat, and I don't want to be frick fake with that connection I want to be honest in that friendship that's all that's all I'm saying I just want to be honest in that friendship and I feel like if you can't be honest with a friend then why why are y'all friends so that's my morning juice just just try to try to be yourself at all times and just keep it 100 if people cannot respect your 100 your 100-ness, then they're not for you. They're just not for you. Um, I'm not going to speak on this no more. Um, like I said, that was just the motivational jewels um, for you guys. Um, I learned my lesson on that, but I'm not speaking on that no more. Um, I appreciate the friendships, the circles that I do have, um, and I'm going to keep it to the, to the, to the day I die. Those people is going to be my, my friends the day I die. And if I meet some people along the way, so be it. But if you're watching this video, just know that that's what I, that's what I expect out of a friendship. So with that being said, I hope you guys have a wonderful Wednesday. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button, baby. Hit the subscribe button, baby. Drop me a comment, like, share, tell your friend to tell a friend, tell your cousin to the, tell your cousin, tell your brother, tell your sister, tell anybody, yo, holla at your girl, cause she is back and full of fat. I'm trying my best, y'all. I'm totally trying my best. Slowly but shortly, dropping some vlogs, okay? Bear with your girl. Bear with your girl, but thanks to all the ones that Oh my god, thanks to my YouTube sisters that hopped on my video was just like, ah, Chrissy's back. Yes, she's back. Slowly but surely, but she's back, okay? But I love y'all and have a wonderful day. And if you can, have a good day. Like my aunt Tab says all the time, if you can't have a good day, don't go messing up nobody else's day because you can't have a good day. But also, remember, if you start off having a bad day, that's just the morning. You still got the rest of the day. You still got the rest of the day to turn it around, okay? Remember that. I love y'all. See y'all later. So my car says it's 71 degrees. It might be higher than that though. But uh, fall is officially here. <laughs> I'm 
so excited. I mean, I don't even know why I'm so excited because I feel like fall is here, but it's not here until that official date in September. I think it's September 21st. That's the first day of fall. But, honey, I'm going to just say fall is here because, honey, this weather is giving fall. Yeah, it is. Time to put up the the shorts and that should wear them around the house. <laughs> Matter of fact, yeah, do what you do. Do what you do. I don't know how you, how anybody operate, but hey, I know any little chill on my body, shorts is going up, unless I'm wearing around the house. But um, yeah. So on my way to the crib, I pray that this evaluation goes well for my oldest. Um, what I look, what I look for out of this evaluation is I just want answers. Um, my boyfriend basically told me he was just like, stop thinking that everything is <laughs> aut autism. I, it's not that I think everything is autism. It's just the fact that. Knowing certain signs, certain symptoms, certain behaviors, and stuff like that, to me, like I said, it's different levels of autism. You get what I'm saying? Different levels. And I, true in my heart of hearts, I feel that my oldest is autism, but it's a higher function, though that I think that he is. Um, that's what I feel, but with this evaluation, hopefully it will give me some clarity of what he is. And if he is, he is. Oh, well. Um, like I said, it's not going to make or break. It's just good to know. Just good to know. He's already 15. He's in the 10th grade. He did good this far. Nothing's going to change. Nothing is going to change. He's very smart. He's very bright. He loves drawing. That's all that matters. All I can do is still be a parent to him. Guide him. To be a, a, a better man when he gets older. All that good stuff. That's not going to stop. None of that's going to stop. I just, I'm just going to know that he is what he is. If he isn't, so be it. If he is, more understanding and more patient, more uh, helping him understand uh, comprehension and stuff like that. That's all. One monkey don't stop no show, man. Not around here. More parenting. That's all it is. More parenting. There is no guy. There's no guy for being a parent. No guy but to being a parent. You wing it how you wing it. Everybody's household is different. Everybody's household is different. I will never tell somebody how to be a parent. Never. Because, like I said, everybody's household is totally different. You parent how you how you want to parent. That's why I don't understand how everybody has an opinion on how people parent, how people do anything in life. I mean, yeah, you, listen, listen, you're, you're entitled to your opinion. But some people's opinion is just shot out. For real, for real. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it a buck. Some people's opinions is shot the hell out. I'll be looking at them like, you couldn't have kind of kept that to yourself because, for real, for real, you sound illiterate. Yeah. That, that kind of kind of leads to the, the whole politics situation with the Trump and the Camilla, I mean, yeah, Camilla, uh, 
whole situation. I try not to get, like I said, I try not to get into the politics stuff, but some of uh, Trump's people is illiterate. But we about to fit, we finna get off of that. We finna get off of that because I, 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 I don't, I don't want anyone getting on my, in my comments with the ignorance. I, I don't, I don't, mm -mm, I don't want it. I don't need it. Don't want to bother with it. I'm good. Matter of fact, you know what? I'm not taking front street. I'm going to take Enola. I'm going to take Enola today. Hopefully it gets me to go for me. But any, anyway, I hope you guys are having a blessful morning. Remain positive. Keep your faith up. Keep your faith up. Not down. Keep it up. Stay uplifting. Praise other people. Oh, wow. It's like four, um... What is these convertibles in front of me? They dope, too. One is red, one is yellow, one is blue. Honey. Never been a sports car type of person, but those is a fire. And never been a two-seater either. Oh, here go another one. It's a black one. Okay. Spot if you want to, baby. Love it. But, um, I was about to say, here go a white one. <laughs> but, um, yeah, um, just keep your faith up. When you wake up in the morning, say your affirmations to yourself. Stay positive. Remain positive. Block negativity. Please try to block negativity. I mean, negativity can come at you left, right, north, south, east, west. They, listen, they coming. The devil works in mysterious ways. He's sneaky. You have to be on point. You have to be on point where he's coming from. He can be in people. He can be anywhere, anywhere. You have to stay on point. You have to stay on point. You got to pay attention to your surroundings. You got to pay attention to your circle. You got to pay attention to everything. Because he tries to come. And when he comes, oh, he comes. Punching. He ain't asking no questions. He's coming. But if you God's child... You know, the Lord won't try to block that. The Lord blocks that man down there with that pitchfork. He blocks him every time. He say, oh, you trying to mess with my child? Get out of here. Get, get. He don't, the, the Lord don't cuss. He just say, man, get out of here with that. Like, what? what? You trying to come where? Stop. You a fool. Get out of here. You is a fool. So that's why I say keep stay prayed up. Guide your kids. Teach your kids about bullying. Let me get on that topic too. It's a new school year. And I know some of my, my YouTube sisters' kids started school. Tell your kids be 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 focused. Remain focused. And beware of bullies. Stand your ground. Don't be a troublemaker. Stand your ground. Stand your ground. Can you, sir? Thank you. Stand your ground. Remain focused. Stand your ground. Don't be, don't be nobody's fool. Don't be nobody's fool. Mm -mm. Don't be nobody's fool. But, um. I'm about to get off of here and finish this ride to the crib. And like I said, please drop the prayer hands for my son. Hope that this evaluation goes well, which I'm pretty sure it will. Nothing to be concerned about. Um, I, like I said, I really think that he is. Um, but it is what it is. I just want you guys to drop some prayer hands and just keep them in your prayers. Just keep everybody keep the whole world in your prayer because we are living in a world where chaos rules and we gotta start taking back 
We got to start taking back our world. We got to start taking back some stuff. Because we can't let people just run crazy around here. Or talk crazy around here. Alright? I love y'all. I really do. I really, really love y'all. Keep your head up. Stay focused. Worry about the things that matter in life. Not the things that you can't control. And the things that don't matter. Which is negativity. See y'all later.